Hey guys, this looks like a fun one. It's got a rectangle with three circles of diameter three, four, and six smushed in here. And we're supposed to find the distance from here to here. If you want to try it on your own, pause it right now because I'm going to solve it in three, two, one. First, let us label the center of each of the circles. Let's take this diameter and extend it up here, and let's split this into a purple distance and a green distance. Let's call the purple distance x and the green distance y. So ultimately, we're trying to find x plus y. I want to work on y first. Let's look at these two larger circles. This one has a diameter of 4, which means the radius is 2. And this one has a diameter of 6, which means the radius is 3. Let's bring down the green distance and find this perpendicular segment. Since this is 2 right here, this distance would also be 2. And this whole radius of 3 would be broken up into 1 and 2. Next, let's connect the centers of the circles, and that'll give us the hypotenuse of our right triangle. This piece is equal to the radius of 2, and this piece is equal to the radius of 3. And the entire hypotenuse would have a length of 2 plus 3, or 5. Now let's mess around with our new right triangle. I'm thinking Pythagorean theorem. 1 squared plus y squared is equal to 5 squared. And this will clean up. It gives us 1 plus y squared is equal to 25. We can subtract 1 from both sides, and we get y squared is equal to 24. Now to get the y by itself, we can square root both sides of the equation. Since y is a positive distance, the square root of y squared is just going to be y. And then we can simplify the square root of 24. 24 is equal to 4 times 6, and the square root of 4 times 6 is equal to the square root of 4 times the square root of 6. And then the square root of 4 is equal to 2. So y is equal to 2 times the square root of 6. So we can update this green distance to be 2 root 6. And we can move it back up here. Now let's work on the x. This circle has a diameter of 3, which means the radius is 1.5. Let's connect these two centers, which will be made up of this radius of 1.5 and this radius of 2, so the whole thing will have a length of 3.5. Then let's drop this perpendicular and let's find its distance. Since this largest circle had a diameter of 6, that means the height of this rectangle is also equal to 6. And then we can bring this radius of 2 over here. So we need 2 plus the purple distance plus 1.5 to equal 6. That means our purple distance is going to be equal to 2.5. And now let's play with this triangle. The Pythagorean theorem tells us 2.5 squared plus x squared is equal to 3.5 squared. 2.5 squared is equal to 6.25 plus x squared and then 3.5 squared is equal to 12.25. We can subtract 6.25 from both sides and we get x squared is equal to 6. And after we square root both sides, we get x is equal to the square root of 6. That means that our purple distance will be equal to the square root of 6. And we can bring that back up here. So now we have the question mark. It's going to be equal to the purple root 6 plus the green 2 root 6. And root 6 plus 2 root 6 is equal to 3 root 6. And that is the answer to our question. Let's put a box around it. How exciting. I just got a haircut. What do you guys think?